What's up everybody, Marcus here again. In this video we are gonna go over the alarms and photos sent from our DVR. First off, go to system setup here and then go to the alarm submenu and mail setting. Here we can set the email address from where we would like to send photos and alarms. For instance, when you set an alarm for a specific camera as we saw in the past video the DVR will shoot you a notification about what happened. This notification could be an email or also a picture. Here at the SMTP option select the kind of platform you would like to use for example a Gmail, a Yahoo, Hotmail etc. I recommend you to choose between Gmail or Yahoo which are the most reliable ones. I'm gonna select Gmail and the second and third option will be set automatically. Here at username please introduce an email which is better if you create a new one only to receive notification for the DVR. In this case I'm gonna use Ventec2018 at gmail.com and below the password we chose for this email address which is security123 pretty easy right after doing this the email notification is all set the list at your right displays the email addresses where you want to receive notification we can add different email addresses here we have one at yahoo and one at gmail let's try to add one at hotmail here okay I'm created a new one just to show you how to do it and at hotmail then press add and then apply okay we have all the email addresses where we are going to receive the notification and the email from where we are going to send this notification we can do some testing by clicking here unfortunately it is not ready yet because we need to configure our email address okay to configure the email address from where we are going to send notification first go to your inbox then select google apps then my account at this point please select sign in and security once you open this window please scroll down until you see the option allow less secure apps which is off please turn it on by doing this the DVR can now send notifications by using this email address okay okay let's go back to our menu click on mail testing one more time and now the email was successfully sent we are done with the email address from where DVR is gonna send notification and the emails which are gonna receive this notification let's now configure our alarm go to alarm send menu and select motion detection in this window please select the channel that you would like to activate notification when motion is detected let's try channel 1 set here you can adjust video sensitivity and in the camera's picture we can select the specific area where we want to detect motion along with receiving email notification to mark off these areas please do right click hold it and drag your mouse to create these frames you can set different areas or frames for the same camera to delete these areas already selected please do right click inside the frames and it will disappear as you can see I've already selected this available parking space to detect any car which wanna use it let's go ok now let's set an alarm on channel 4 please select the channel and click on set for this camera connected to channel 4 I would like to receive notification if someone opens this door I'm selecting the door from the half to the top 
to avoid crossing paths in case you have one. You can do this in your front door, back door, windows or any vulnerable point at home or in your office as I'm doing right now. After doing this, please click OK. By selecting set from the second column, we can select the type of notification we would like to receive when motion is detected, for example. Checking this option, you will receive an email with a picture about what happened. We can also select the start to record option once motion is detected, instead of recording this channel 24-7. Along with these options, we can also select this one here at the top. Let's turn it on and this buzzer will be triggered when motion is detected. Please notice if you don't press OK the option selected won't be saved. So please click on OK after you have selected all the notifications. Now let's select the same notification for channel 1. Turn on the buzzer, the email alert and take some snapshot. We will receive a picture of what happened for channel 1 and it will start recording. Here we have set motion detection if someone uses this parking space or if someone opens the door. Click on apply then OK. Now let's try if it works. I'm gonna park the car in the parking space next to the one we have selected to prove if this motion can trigger any notification even when it's not inside the preset area for this channel. Fortunately it did not activate any notification. So we are good so far. Let's try with the parking space next to this one which is the area we have already selected on channel 1 ok car is coming almost there great as you can hear it has triggered the alarm on channel 1 and we should have already received the email from the DVR because of this notification in channel 1 let's move back the car to its original place and let's prove if we receive any notification on channel 4 in case we detect any motion. As you may notice everything is fine with the camera in channel 4 until this suspicious guy shows up. Careful it's coming and one more time you are hearing the alarm which is good for us. Now let's check the previously created email address. As you can see we have received four different notifications. First here is an access blocked by Google when we first try to send the test from the DVR. After turning on the, this option in our Google account we received an email from Google warning us we activated this option next email we received was before we did the second email testing as you can read this email indicates that we sent an email from one of our Ventec products okay let's move back to the inbox these two emails are notification of channels 1 and 4 this image attached is the snapshot of the parking space when the camera detected motion in the area we had selected. Of course, we can play back this video to have more information about what happened in this channel. This picture shows the specific moment when the car tried to cross the line, literally. It always happens in front of our warehouse. Let's move to the second notification and this one is regarding to motion detection in channel 4 okay there you have the door this picture shows you the right moment when the door was opened anyway 
this is the kind of emails we are going to receive once motion is detected indicated time date and channel from our DVR now what about Yahoo here we have the testing email which says everything was good to start receiving notification from the DVR back to our inbox here we have the first notification at 10 past 5 okay and you have the image attached by using Yahoo sometimes you need to download the picture if you want to display it let's go back let's check the second notification we received for the door let's download this one also this one was received at 540 we should have received the same pictures we received at gmail let's open these pictures in our PC here we have exactly the same pictures we received at gmail one is the car in the parking space and the other picture of the person who opened the door okay Let's move back after we have seen how notification do work let's go to the alarm menu one more time by selecting system setup alarm setting here as I said before we can select a different email address for this one I'm gonna use at Yahoo please notice the port has changed automatically here at the username let's introduce the Yahoo mail ventec.test at yahoo.com and please introduce the password after doing this we are gonna click on mail testing and one more time the notification won't be sent because first we need to change the email configuration at Yahoo let's try it let's wait a few seconds oh there you have it didn't send the email once you open your Yahoo inbox as we did for the Gmail account please select the user icon which is on your right here at the top and then please select account info then once you are here please select account security and please turn on the option to allow apps that use less secure sign in once you have done this you should be able to send notification from the DVR through this Yahoo email address okay let's try by going back to our DVR menu back to the menu let's do a click on mail testing and now email as you can see was sent successfully we have now two different email accounts gmail and yahoo from where we can send notification to the email addresses listed at your right let's go over the next option in the alarm sub menu which is lost alarm here you can select the channels that you would like to receive notification in case they lose their video let's select channel one and two set at this point you may select the type of notification you would like to receive in case someone disconnect or damage your cameras let's check email alert of course we cannot select the snapshot option let's click ok and set channel 2 also to also receive an email in case you lose your video please click apply and then ok let's try it if it works I'm gonna disconnect camera from channel 1 let's wait I'm working ok we hear the alarm and we should receive an email regarding to this alarm or notification going back to the motion detection option as you may know we have channels 1 and 4 already set but for instance select channel 2 and click on set in case you don't have selected 
the specific area on this picture for motion detection as we did for channels 1 and 4 the DVR will send you a notification once movement is detected at any point in this picture it is up to you because sometimes we need to detect motion at any point in the picture just to let you know we can also schedule motion detection alarms channel by channel please select the icon of motion detection appointment here at this window please select channel 2 one more time then press set here we can create different schedule for this camera let's set the first one from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. or midday all right set the second one from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. this cameras will start to record when motion is detected within these two periods of time in case you want to record any of these channels 24 7 go back to the main screen then select record setting from the pop-up menu at this point you may check the all day option for those channels that you would like to record 24 7 you may also have different recording options running at the same time as you might have noticed Ventec DVRs offer you different kind of recording configuration. One more time, thanks for your attention. Please check the rest of our products on Amazon. Remember, in case you need further assistance, do not hesitate to watch the rest of our videos. Or shoot me an email to the email address in the description of this video. Thank you.